to start your value landscape today by picking a dark color. I chose purple and you start with three lines that go across your paper horizontally for your foreground, middle ground, background. Create the darkest value in your foreground using hard pressure on your crayon. Create a light value by using light pressure in the background. Create a middle value or medium value using medium pressure in the middle ground. If you're creating a digital landscape today, go to sketch.io in your browser and click Try Out Sketchpad 2019. Hit the plus sign on the bottom to create a new page. And I usually start with a blank page, but you can start with any of them. Pick your tool, such as a pencil or a pen, to start your landscape. Hit the outline button to find a color for your line. Move the line width button to make your lines thicker or thinner. After you finish your lines, choose a paintbrush or another fill tool to start filling in your foreground, middle ground, and background using different values. This program already shows different values in the color section. If you're starting with the background, start with the lighter value of whatever color you chose. I chose blue. Back to the color palette and choose a darker value of the same color. Repeat this step until you have dark, medium, and light values in your landscape. You can also play with the blur tool Anything that's farther away is going to look blurry and things that are closer look more clear. To add details in your landscape, start by creating the lightest and smallest objects first. They're gonna be the farthest away, close to your background. As you get to the middle ground, objects are going to be bigger and darker. Use a heavier pressure on your crayon. Now you can clearly see a light and a medium value. Now let's create the darkest value. Push down hard on your crayon to create a darker value in the foreground. Adding details digitally can look like adding things like clouds in your sky. Remember, everything in the background is going to be the lightest, and as you move forward, they get darker. At this point in the video, I'm really just playing around with all the different tools. Just remember that sketch.io has a lot of different options, so try your best and make something fun. When you finish with your landscape, go to the export button at the bottom and click download. You can now save your image as a PNG or a PDF and share it.